and the Titan. So in this video, we'll talk about the Form Titan basics. So when looking at Form Titan, we have three toolbars here. On the left side, we have the Element toolbar. On the top, we have the File options and some more uh, Form options. Over here, we have Editing options. And on the right side, we have the Form form settings or form style and if we hit an element then we'll have an element settings and style so let's take a look and see what it can do so on the element tab we can just select an element and add any element we like or we can just search let's say we want a button so you can either double click it and it will go on the form or you can just drag it to wherever you like you can also hit Control C or Command C and Command V, and it will copy and paste it. Okay, so that's the Elements tab. Now let's take a look at the File tab. The file lets you create a new file, open another file, delete this file, or duplicate the file. You can save your form, and this one will let you decide what you edit, what you are um, setting your form to be on a desktop this is how the desktop layout will look like tablet mobile or mini preview button will let you preview your form the publish will publish your form take a look you got a url form is now published submissions will let you see the submissions tips and help are there for to give you tips and help you out Okay, so let's take a look at this one. This one will undo the changes you made. You can do Command Z or Control Z as well. And it will just cancel what you've done before. You can do Command Y and it will redo what you undone. You can copy an element from here, delete an element. Let's take a look at the align and spacing. Let's say that I want vertical spacing of 2 or 20 pixels and horizontal spacing of 20 pixels as well let's take a look at the grid options let's just cancel what I've done grid options well you either snap the grid or cancel the grid altogether or set the grid size let's cancel the grid that will give you more flexibility options when you align your form. The find option will search any field on your form. So let's take a look at the buttons. So we have four buttons. And if I click one, it will select it automatically. The lock option well, let you either you can lock all the elements on your form or whatever you selected and what it will do basically when you move it the the element that you locked will stay in place okay now let's take a look at the form settings so the form settings gives you a lot of options can go over them all but the basic ones are let's say general you want to give you a form a name let's say form titan basics and you can change your form URL as well let's save the form you can hit control S or command S as well that will save the form let's publish this take a look at the our URL so we can see that our URL was changed to basics and there we have it and the style, well, you set a background for your entire form, so we can change the background and the back image and a lot more options here, C custom CSS, tooltips, and more and more. Now let's take a look at the element settings. So similar to the form settings, you can set a setting for your element. Every element has different settings. So when we look at the button settings, for example, we can decide which button it is. Either submit, reset, print, etc. And the style will let you style your element. So we can set a font. Let's change the font. Let's say Times New Roman. Change the color of the font. 
you can make it bold, underline, you can set the background, etc. And that's the basics.